I got my first haircut in Smitty's. I was 10 years old. Ten. I remember him cutting my joint at like 12. Yeah, I can remember when Smitty first cut my hair, man. I was a youngster. When I moved on the block, ooh, that was the first barber shop I went to. And Smitty like, you know, lined me up and everything like that. And it was, ooh, it was so beautiful. What do we all say, right? First haircut, man. You know, he was the very, very first, that was the very first barbershop in my life, period. You no know, first haircut, five years old, first fresh on the block. That's it, man, you know? Did, did you see the first shot? Absolutely. Which, oh, the, the small joint, before he moved it. No, I came actually when, I, I know what you're talking about, from the candy store. Yeah. And then, no, the real, I, the I got this hat. I remember and going, he expanded it. and that was when I first was going, I was fucking. Mm -hmm. One of the OGs like that, that put us onto the game, showed us everything. My heart goes out to his family, man. Smitty gave us memories, Smitty did us favors. He blessed my marriage, he blessed my family. Great good man. Father without having a father close to him. You know, he was a father to the neighborhood, you know what I mean? He was like a father figure, because I, I ain't had my pops around. And he was he always had good words for me. He took care of the whole neighborhood. He wasn't cutting your hair, he was putting something in your head, positive. And like he said, he never turned nobody away. He always embraced us with all his heart. Um, you always been so much more than the barber. Um, you were a person who showed us that we could own our own businesses as black men. First time I saw a black business in the hood. You started me off in business, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was my inspiration to become a barber. I'm a barber to this day, so you know, I give him a lot of props and a lot of love, Mr. Smith. But I'm glad that he saw me in a position in my life. Like in 2013, I did my intern, my, my barber intern in the shop in Burnside. And, you know, we, we got the vibe and, you know, spent, at least I, I had an opportunity to spend some good quality times with him. Not only was he a pillar of the community, but was a guy that gave everybody a chance. I mean, there's people who probably did time in prison and came home that was from the block. They needed to get a new start again. So I've seen him in Smitty's cut. He did that. So he's a, he's a great guy. I mean, he was the block, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, Smitty is special. A very special man. Like a second father to me. I'm a tool in this one. You know, he's always a good dude, good man, church man, family man. At the end, they always kept a nice, pleasant smile. That's how I remember him, with that smile. I always remember him with a pleasant smile. I, I don't think anybody could ever say a bad word about him. The true essence of a gentleman. Thank you so much for all the lessons. He was a. Uh, Iconic figure to a lot of the people in the community for what he's done. That was Smitty's Barbershop, Webster Avenue was a, was a home base for a lot of us to go in, hang out, cool out. He never turned us away. Great man, will definitely be missed. Our neighborhood started changing. He didn't. He tried to stick around, tried to be there for the people for many generations. You know, he cut their hair. You know, and, um, I'm gonna say that plenty of times I went in there and I ain't have money. He cut my hair. He cut my mom's hair, cut my dad's hair, my brothers. And uh, I'm very thankful that we had a person with a good heart like that that, that looked out for people. 
the icon, legend. Everybody that's here, I'm sure I got a cut from you at least one time. Humble, humble, humble man. You are a staple and a pillar in our community, and you will always be remembered, valued, and adored. The barbershop was definitely something that, that, that I could never forget. One of the people you think will always live forever. You know what I'm saying? Man? See if you can zoom in on that. That joint was tight, man. Look at that goatee. Hold on. <laughs> that goatee is crazy, Dang. man. Think I, I can't tell you how many chicks are. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. anyway. It was very great to our community. You know, we watch uh, movies like Barbershop, you know, and there was something very important that was explained in Barbershop about the quality of a person and about the real riches that a person has. And uh, exactly what they said in Barbershop was the man wasn't rich because he had wealth. He was rich because of the people that he invested in. And Mr. Smitty was a true uh, fact of what a Barbershop really was. He invested in the people in the community, somebody that you could actually go to when you needed help. And he would actually lend you that hand. He would give you some money. He'd do whatever he could to help you, you know. And we need more people out here like that, you know. Today is a sad day because we got to say goodbye to a true legend of the Webster Avenue, Valentine, and Bronx community, period. You know, Mr. Smitty, may you rest in peace. Love you to death.